trucks. Got to be in there to stay in this lane always. 87-year-old Doug Clark has just about seen it all behind the wheel, and it's yep. not always pretty. And yet, so many vehicles hit this one. That this one they, right here is one of them. Yeah. In a short ride along with the truck driver turned instructor, we pass three consecutive overpasses that have been struck by semi-truck trailers in just over a year, including this one hit just last week. Mainly it's uh, that thing we call distracted driving. People aren't paying attention to what they're seeing what they're, or they're thinking of other other things rather than driving trucks. Since December 2021, there's been 29 bridge or overpass strikes in the province. The vast majority have happened in the lower mainland, including the overpass at 264 Street and Highway 1, which was struck six times. In 24 cases, violation tickets were issued. Six times, companies were ordered to revise their safety plans. In five cases, the carriers were suspended. None have resulted in criminal charges or arrests. Just last month in North Vancouver, an unpermitted driver for Whistler 99 Courier and Freightways struck this overpass and fled. The company was suspended for a week and issued a $3,500 fine. But it disappoints me, yes. It takes Doug Clark about a second to assess what went wrong. The beginning of that was he, he should have measured how high that is. Clark calls it a lapse in the basic fundamentals of truck driving. So the planning has to be how high am is the load. That's number one. How high is the load? So the second one is what route can I take that will allow me to pass under it. That's why he's calling for regular retraining or proficiency tests for commercial drivers to keep standards up and stiffer fines for violations. There should be a substantial uh, cost factor involved. The province says heftier fines are coming, but stands by its training program, which became more rigorous for new drivers in the aftermath of the tragic Humboldt Broncos crash. We've heard that BC has the strictest and toughest new licensing requirements, and that's true, we do. For Clark, it's not the new drivers he's worried about, it's the old ones who weren't tested by today's standards. He sees the shortcomings when veteran drivers apply to be teachers at his school. I get drivers here all the time that cannot drive well enough as instructor wannabes to pass the road tests that our students pass. Bad habits that can lead to worse outcomes on BC's busiest roads. John Hernandez, CBC News, Langley.